My name is Sandra Starr. I'm from Monroe, Louisiana, and I'm 46 years old. My mom raised us as a single mom. I'm the oldest. Um, I think I did everything first as the oldest, good or bad. There were a lot of fighting in my home. There were a lot of cussing in my home. There wasn't God presence at all. And um, I was abused um, by my stepfather. I was molested by my stepfather. Um, I went into a dark place and um, couldn't come out. I wanted to get out of that house and I fell head first into an abusive relationship. Um, I got pregnant. Uh, my first uh, venture out, um, I had my son and I struggled real, real, real bad. So I started to rebel in all manners. Um, I, found, I got with the wrong crowd. Um, so I did messing with drug dealers. Um, fell in love with one and had a little girl beautiful little girl, and he turned out to be abusive also. And I felt that that was the perfect way to live life because that's what I saw. And if he didn't hit me, he didn't love me. So um, it got to the point to where it got so severe, uh, I couldn't take it anymore, so I fought back. And um, when I decided to fight back, Came a tragedy which landed me in prison with a life sentence. I've been gone from my kids for like 24 years. I left them when they were four and seven. So in my mind, that's how I still picture them. That has been the hardest part. <laughs> um, I miss my daughter's graduation. Um, I miss my daughter's first boyfriend. Her first kiss when she was hurt. I wasn't there to hold her. My son, when, when nobody listened to him, the world, he ran to the world for support because I wasn't there. My greatest thing is I just want to sit down with my two grown children and just talk to them and tell them how much that it was my fault. Hope is all we have. I mean, we live and we live. You, you're grateful to open your eyes the next day. And we've made huge mistakes in our lives. We're young and we're dumb and we were rebellious. But we grow older and you learn better and you do better. And um, hope is all you have throughout your whole life to hold on to. Um, as of today, I do uh, worship arts. I finished with my associates and then I went further for my bachelor. I completed, graduated with my bachelor's. So now I'm full blown ministry. Um, and I love it because I love to see people change, people like me growing up. And that's, they have a lot of hurting women here. And that draws me because I see myself in other people over and over and over again. And um, I think that's what keeps me going to know that there are other people out there like me that are struggling. And I don't want them to struggle like I did. And I think that's why I exist, to help other people like me make it in the world at any cost.